This is the Lumic Lab app. Now it's available on iOS. I play around with this app about two days already on my iPad as well and also on my iPhone. It's a good app, it's free and it has some kind of unique features that you can send a lot directly into your camera. But it's not all compatible with the Lumic camera. The only two camera that support right now is the Lumic S9 and the Lumic G87. They plan to release um, S5 Mark II and Mark II X will compatible with this one as well and also the G9. But right now, it's only two models that support with this app. It's a good concept. You know, you can do photo editing, you can do video editing in this app as well. You know, you can connect it to your camera that you can framing yourself in case your camera doesn't have any flip out screen. I don't think so. <laughs> um, you can download a lot. This is the hot features, you know, the, the main feature of this um, of this Lumic app, I believe, you know. They will collect every creator on the Lumic ecosystem and those creators, they be they willing to share their preset, to share their lot, and then they can upload it here, you know. And for us, as the Panasonic user, we can just go explore you know, who create the best lot, who create the best look, and you can just go into the profile, let's say from this guy, I watch his video as well, he made, you know, Panasonic camera uh, review, things like this. So if you found his uh, color is good for you, so you can just go ahead, download his, his lot here, and then apply to your footage like mine right now i already downloaded you know as i said you can do this with photo and also for video as well but here's the thing i got two two things to, uh, to want to talk here first one maybe this app is very young you know they not not well optimized to me i feel that the app is just super laggy it's not that smooth guys so for example i bring my own picture this is the photo that I took with my Lumic S5 II X with Vlog anyway. So you can apply this look here, you know, nothing wrong with it. Uh, with this, it looks good, looks good. But when you go in this tool, you want to do some adjustment right there. Here you start to see here some, you know, it's not that smooth, okay. Sometimes it works okay, but the other day I work on my iPad, I feel like it's just super laggy. It's not that respond in terms of adjustment you make in this tool, you know. But it's okay, you know. As I said, maybe it, it is very young app. It's not well optimized, I believe. And second, this is the big one. Because this app is built for this, you know. Um, maybe you find a lot. You know that you think it's good for you and you bring that lot let's say from this guy okay from this guy and then you bring your own photo you know to him this looks so nice guy okay? looks so nice you know he, he captured this with with vlog as well just like me I'm gonna add my own picture that I capture with vlog at file and then let's see what happened because we do have different lighting, different skin tone, you know, different environment, things like that. But let's see if it works. Apply it, 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 it works, but it's not what we want, you know. It's not going to look good like, like the one that he created for himself. I know, I, I said for him it's good, but when you try to use his on yours, that's going to change right there. So let's try one more lot right here. You know, this lot is so nice. We lock as well. So I'm going to bring mine. There you go, guy. It's super saturated. <laughs> super saturated. The black is crushed. <laughs> I mean, man, it's not that nice. To himself, as you can see, he looks good. But to me, look at this. You know, it's over saturated. The black is crushed. I don't know, you know, let's try to find another one. Maybe this one looks looks cool, right? 
Okay, let's try this one. This one looks cool. Okay, vlog as well. Okay, let's do mine. I'm gonna add mine here. My God, <laughs> it's not not gonna work, guys. I I can't. I I didn't find anything that it's work for my type for my skin. It's not gonna work, guys. It work, of course, but it's not gonna look nice as you expect. You know, it is gonna be here and there. Sometime I don't know. It's hard to tell. But it's okay, you know, you can play around with it, you can make some adjustment right there. But this app, as I said, I, I, I don't know what is the focus, what is the message of this app. I mean, Lumic tried to make photo editor app, you know, but if they want to make photo editor, editor app, this app is very limited, you know, guys, just very limited. Uh, their tool is just... Mm, very basic you know all right so that's it my take for this app the lumic um lab you know actually lumic have a, a lot of app they they create a lot of apps sometimes i would say it too much you know they have the uh, panasonic sing and the panasonic image app you know <laughs> They work the same to remote control your camera, things like that. They should have combined one app, you know, try to develop those, improve those, and add this feature, you know, just to make one tab. They don't need to create separate app like this, in my opinion, you know, just just to make one tab, maybe lab library in this low mixing app, you know. That's enough. They don't have to create new one and hype it up. Send this, send that. <laughs> okay, guys. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.